Hello, hello! Uh, this week with a new tutorial and um, this week I'm doing Diana. It was requested by Miao Kim. I hope you like it and I hope you're gonna use it. And so let's start off. Now I'm starting off by already putting on the wig since it did cost me quite a while to get the hair to stay like that. And with the white lenses. Why do I put them before? Just because um, I stop crying and I just want to. Uh, since I'm going to do the lower drawing, I don't want it to get smudged. So I just um, put the lenses on before. Once I have the lenses on, I'm just gonna put my foundation just to cover up my dark circles. I have huge ones, and we're starting off with the um, eye makeup. Now this one is a very easy one, and it doesn't have too much color on it, so. I'm just applying the pre-base and I decided to use a dark grey one just because on top of it I will put black so it's not going to be seen anyways. But in the inner corner of the eye I'm just going to let a bit of this silver color to be seen. Once I have all my eyelid covered with um, the silver color, it's a cream base, okay? Um, I'm going to apply a little bit to the lower lid too and this is about it for the pre paste now I'm just gonna mix it up and just gonna add some black shadow some black eyeshadow to it and the eyes are almost finished and we have just a few small details that are, ah very small details and uh, so I'm taking one of these very black matte colors and I will start blending up now you have to be careful not to blend it too much on the sides so I'm just applying it with an angle brush okay one of those very thin ones because I do want to keep some parts of the makeup quite sharp so just apply little by little it's gonna take a while but if you want to do it well just do it don't, don't just grab some black and just put it on because maybe you want to show off more details or let's say just put the dark shadow little by little until you are happy with the results. Once you're happy with the uh, black eyeshadow with what you put on, take a big smudging brush or maybe not a big one. Just make sure it's fluffy and go ahead and blend out the colors a little bit just to soften up a little bit. And once you're happy with the result, once again, go ahead and do it. Do the same thing with the lower lid. Now for the lower lid, don't take such a thick one. Take a thinner smudging brush if you have one. If not, just blend it out with yours with your um, the smallest finger blend it out little by little make sure you don't um, overdo it because we want to keep the lower part of the makeup quite sharp once we, you are finished with the outer part of the eye you do want to close if you don't have very close Eyebrows, you want to close them up a little bit, you want them to meet and be closer to each other. So, I'm just going to add the same black eyeshadow that I used for the outer part of my eye just to thicken up a little bit the brows and make my nose look thinner. Now, it's just by creating an angle, and you already have the angry effect. <laughs> now, for the um, higher curve of the eye, you know, the part that comes out. Uh, I'm taking the highest point of my eyebrow and then just uh, instead of taking it downwards I'm trying to create the same angle, the same distance just by creating it by making it sharp and then go up a bit uh, upwards a bit. Now this depends on how high you want to make it and how it depends on the shape of your eyes. Just go ahead and play around with it a little bit and when you're happy, well, if you're happy, I'm happy. <laughs>
want to finish the higher curve, you want to draw the tear drops. I guess they would be tear drops. Well, the lower design of the eye. Now you want to start in the center of your eye, you know where your pupils are, and then you want to go a bit da a bit outwards, like towards your cheek. You just want to get um, you just want to give some shape to your cheeks, and don't exaggerate too much, but don't keep it straight like you would do it for the black. Normally, what you see is that in, for my waterline, I use the white pencil. Well, this time I'm using the black one. Just because that way my eyes look a bit thinner and slighter, okay? They just look more like lines. And um, Diana actually has very thin lines. For the circle in the center of the forehead, um, I've used one of these pots I have. And the white water-based paint, face paint. Now just shape, just tap it a little bit in the white uh, white color and then just touch your forehead slightly with it and there you have the circles N no complications just by doing that you already have the circle now you just have to fill it in and then you do have to use your artistic um, qualities for making the crescent moon under the circle and by that just start start off with very thin strokes once you're happy stop so as I told you before you have to start with small strokes with very thin ones and then you go ahead and just construct it little by little make sure you don't just draw one line and that's it because it might look a bit ugly <laughs> For the contouring of the face, I'm taking a very dark bronzer and I will reshape my face. I want it to make like a make like a triangle or a very thin face. So I'm adding quite a bit of bronzer. Now you want to make it in an angle just from the higher part of your ear to the mouth. And actually I've covered my lips with some uh, foundation. Okay, because I do want to reshape my lips a little bit too. Uh, once you've used the angled brush for the face, you want to take a thinner one and just go ahead and add a bit of shadow to the forehead just to create a bit of more 3D effect for the crescent moon and for the face in general. So we are almost finished, now the only thing I have left to do is for the lips. Now um, you want to make your mouth quite small in width but quite big in how the lips have to be very pumped up. So I have put some foundation on top of my lips and then I'm just reshaping them and going a bit over my lip line just because I want them to be more full but not the mouth not to be as big as it normally is so this is the result i hope you like it and i'll see you in the next tutorial bye bye